Okay, so I'm doing this because I got a response from uh, a dude here on uh, SNN. I was uh, looking at this some days and days ago. Police apologize. No, a pe police apologists love this bunk video of cooperative man getting off felony charges. Uh, you ought to go check it out. But, I mean, you know, the guy was exceedingly cooperative, kind, polite, respective, uh, well, respectful, and all this other stuff. And he, you know, black dude, please... You know, yeah, they kind of messed him, messed him up, but you know, hey, he he, you know, he did wrong, and you know, he's you know, he's gonna you know suffer for it. You know, you do something wrong, you get caught, you do the time. That's just how that go. So you know, everything went well. No one got hurt. No one got shot. And it was all good. It's still jacked up, but I mean, how everything went down, but still, you know, it is what it is. So then you get the comments section. Now, the, um, you know, I wrote this thing, and it says, uh. Well, hold on. Let me just, I, I'll just go over the whole thing. This guy wrote, uh, I didn't see them let him off anything. I saw clowns slash thugs dressed in uniform, harassing a hardworking man, just minding his own business. That's all I saw. Okay. And basically, yeah, that's, that's essentially what happened. So then this guy named a little wiser, W-H-E-I-Z-M-S-E-R. He says, harassing, seriously. He wasn't licensed to drive and had bagged opiates in his possession i feel sorry for the guy because he seems like he's trying to get his shit together but if he had it but if he had hit me i don't know why the fuck you talking about yourself but if he hit me or someone else he has zero insurance coverage that's illegal people need to take responsibility for their own actions so that prompted me because i thought that line was full of bullshit so i responded to him saying i quoted him saying people need to take responsibility for their own actions I said he did. That's why he didn't deny anything and call the people he needed to call. 100% of the people initially drive illegally in order to drive legally. If you don't know how, then you need not talk about what's legal and illegal. So, this prompts this dude, Ronald Mead, who uh, decided to be a little troll uh, and I'll get to that in a second. But he says, he, he responds to me saying, where do you get everybody is driving illegally in order to drive legally? That makes no sense. Since you judge that making no sense without thinking about it or trying to understand it, and you're just going to let me know, just, just, just declare that it makes no sense, then you know what? I, got, I, I, I can respond in however I wish. I, I could do this in a, a uh, 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 just saying it right there. Um, but then that takes too much. And I'd rather make a post on this because it's something that people just don't think about. Although it happens. But uh, then he, I, and the reason I say he trolls because right up under that he says uh, to a little wiser, you are right. Now I don't know if he's just saying that to him in general or if he's taking a shot at me since he posted it right after he posted to me. Seeing that I was going to see it. And a little wiser isn't wise at all. So he could be a little wiser at points. Too bad he's not using the word, the right word of wiser. Now, why do people initially drive illegally because if you just turn 18 you used to be 16 you used to be able to be 14 16 now you have to be 18 i can't wait until the year you gotta be 21 but once you turn 18 you can then drive on your own you can become then a licensed full-on driver without a permit so what does that mean when you got a permit you can drive without a license so long as you have someone with a license and is 18 or older, preferably 21 and older, best 30 and older driving with you. They're in, the, they're in the passenger seat and they can help guide you. It's sort of a mentor program of, of, of driving. Now, why is it illegal? When you turn 18, you want to buy a car. Can't wait to get your car. But let's say you try to get the car and they say, wait, you can't do this. Well, why not? Because as a little wiser had kind of mentioned, you don't have insurance, so you can't get this car. Okay, then. So then, what do you got to do to get insurance? You need to get a car. Why? Because you try to get insurance. They say, I ain't giving you insurance. You don't have a car. You don't have a car, so I'm not giving you insurance. So you can't get the insurance because you don't have a car. You don't. You can't, you can't get the car because you don't have insurance. You don't have insurance because you don't have a car. You don't have a car because you don't have insurance. You don't have insurance because you don't have a car. It's a back and forth. In other words, you don't get shit. You're not going to get insurance. You're not going to get a car. Therefore, you're stuck. You're going to have to break the law in order to become lawful. 
that's the only way you're going to go about it. No one can buy the insurance for you. No one can buy the car for you. Because even if they do, you know what that means? It's illegal. So, you're going to have to get your name. I think, uh, CJ might have to help me out with this one. You have to get your name on somebody else's insurance or car in order to get insurance so you can go out and buy the car. And they say, oh, you got insurance. Great, now you can buy this car. Yeah, okay, she says, yeah, basically. And so, you have to do one bad thing to get something good. That's how we're set up. That's how we're set up. If you could drive without insurance, you know what? A lot of people would be driving. As a matter of fact, a lot of people do drive without insurance. A lot of people, because they can't afford that high shit sometimes. And some people, you know what? They, there are a lot of people that, there's people that have actually had their insurance taken away because they lost their car. They no longer have a car. They haven't driven in a long time. The insurance gets taken away. And they were paying for that insurance. So, yes, okay, Ronald Mead, it does make sense. Everyone initially does drive illegally. Or they have illegal insurance. <laughs> Just because you finagle it don't mean it's legal. I mean, that's just it. I can't make this any easier. If you don't understand that, I can't help you. So if anyone else out there got some pointers, some tips on how to do it completely legal, absolutely legal, without bending or breaking the law in some form or fashion, to get your uh, license, I mean, to get your license slash insurance or to get your car slash license without having to go beyond, behind anyone's back or anything or put your name on somebody else's insurance or uh, your name as a co-driver or owner of said vehicle, you know, which I don't think you can do that without having uh, not only just a license, but also insurance. So tell me, how do you do it legally? How do you do it legally? I will read the comments as I usually do. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not so big wig that I don't read the comments anymore. <laughs> I read the comments. I think I'm going to always read the comments. So just let me know, all right? This is Cedric Kennedy for Comparative Reasoning. Thank you for listening.